The Belgian hare, although a domestic rabbit, was bred to closely resemble a wild hare. It is for that reason that this breed has a long, muscular body with an arched back. They have long heads, a straight tail, which is carried in line with the backbone, and tall, slightly wide, erect ears. Belgian hare breed history. Belgian hare breed's lengthy history originates in 18th century Belgium where they were developed using selective breeding tactics from domestic and wild European rabbits with the intention of making hardy meat. They were imported as early as 1856 into England and dubbed the Belgian hare, but it wasn't until 1873 that a man by the name of Winter William Lum and Benjamin Greaves developed into the breed that exists today. The first Belgian hare was shown in America in 1877 where its popularity rapidly grew. The National Belgian Hare Club was formed in 1897, and the National Pet Stock Association added this breed under its all-breed club. After many name changes, the National Pet Stock Association eventually became known as the American Rabbit Breeders Association. In 1972, a group of Belgian hare breeders came together and applied for a specialty club charter. Soon after, the Belgian hare was officially accepted into the ARBA. Belgian hares make waves in the US. In the United States, rabbits were kept almost exclusively as meat animals for the vast majority of its history. Pet and exhibition rabbits were pretty unheard of when, in 1888, E.M. Hughes imported the first Belgian hares into the United States. He collaborated with two others, W.N. Richardson and G.W. Fenton, to bring these new exotic animals to small livestock shows across the country and promote their ownership. Coat. The Belgian hare has short, glossy fur that requires little to no maintenance to keep it in pristine condition. Rabbits are genuinely clean animals. They should never be given a bath, as this causes great stress and can lead to heart failure. Occasionally, rub your Belgian hair down to rid the coat of any dead fibers, no brushing required, and their coat should remain in good condition. Arba accepts only one kind of Belgian hair coat color, bright tin rust, with a red or orange tint. The entire body consists of this color, and markings include lighter colored eye circles and ticking on particular parts of the body, such as on their upper back and hips. Care requirements. This rabbit is usually kept in an outdoor enclosure that's fairly large and tall. The ideal outdoor hut should be made of wire or wood, have a solid bottom, and be at least 24 by 60 inch floor with a top that is no less than 24 inches high. The bottom of the cages needs to be lined in bedding, spot cleaned every day, and completely replaced every 5 to 7 days. While Belgian hares can do fine in temperatures above the freezing mark, so long as sufficient protection and bedding are given to keep them warm, there needs to be sufficient ventilation during the summer months. When it comes to their diet, this rabbit breed needs access to clean, fresh water and high-quality hay. Hay should be 70% of their diet while the rest consists of a healthy balance of pellets and rabbit-safe vegetables, fruits, and leafy greens. There are some foods that should be avoided, iceberg lettuce, for example, does not have enough nutritional value, while others are fine in moderation like apples and carrots are a wonderful treat. Health The Belgian hare, although domestic, was bred to closely resemble a wild hare. While Belgian hares are not susceptible to digestive issues such as wool block, like long-haired breeds such as Angoras, for instance, care has to be taken in order for them to live long, healthy lives. Two problems that are most common in outdoor rabbits are ear mites and fly strike. Fly strike is common to rabbits that have soiled fur during the summer. Flies lay their eggs in soiled fur and when the eggs hatch, their primary food source is the rabbit. It is extremely painful and symptoms include lack of appetite fewer droppings in your bunny's cage, and sudden jumping or thrashing in pain. If you suspect your rabbit may have fly strike, take them to your veterinarian for treatment. A pea-sized amount of deworming paste is recommended every fall and spring to keep your rabbit healthy. Finally, if your rabbit's diet does not consist of 70% hay, the rabbit's incisors begin to grow into their faces and jaws. This is a painful condition and can only be corrected by a veterinarian, who can shave down their teeth. A simple change in their diet should keep their teeth naturally worn down. Belgian hares suffer a blow from industrialized farming. Belgian hares are an energetic breed that needs a lot of room to bounce around and keep up the muscle in their hind legs. They also need a solid surface to sit on to rest their toes or they are extremely prone to breaking them or getting infections from wearing them down on the wire. Most breeders today suggest a cage at least 6 feet long, 2 feet wide, and 2 feet tall. Hares suffered in small cages. Traditionally, this sort of enclosure would have been the norm in homesteads across the U.S. raising meat rabbits, but when rabbit breeding became industrialized, most rabbits found themselves housed singly in tiny wire cages. Hares did not fare well in this setting. Besides adding stress from being unable to exercise and the health problems they were prone to living on the wire, they also suffered mentally and refused to breed in these conditions. 
It wasn't long before hairs became very rare. Today, the vast majority of Belgian hair owners are exhibition breeders who fall in love with the sleek appearance but all too commonly get out of keeping the breed due to their space requirements. They have had a hard time making it back into the pet trade mostly because, in the US, even off the industrial farms, it's considered normal husbandry to keep rabbits in very small cages. Temperament The Belgian hare requires more maintenance and care than other rabbit breeds simply because of its size and energetic nature. While this breed can theoretically live indoors, indoor rabbits tend to be petted and this rabbit breed isn't the best pet due to its nervousness. Sudden noises or unfamiliar sounds cause them to jump high into the air and go into a running frenzy inside of their cage, where they could accidentally hurt themselves. While they do have a sweet nature and are known to enjoy petting. Belgian hares are not the breed for everyone and are used mostly for show purposes. While they can be picked up, a lot of care needs to be taken to ensure that if they do get spooked, they don't fall onto the floor. Breeders use tricks to lower the risk of scaring their Belgian hares by announcing their arrival before they open their barn doors, installing a loud fan inside the barn, or playing loud music for the majority of the day. Hares in the US versus Europe Sadly, in the US, Belgian hares now only come in one recognized color ruddy and suffer from inbreeding. Their lifespan in Europe remains the highest of any rabbit breed at 7 to 10 years, while in the US it's actually shorter than most rabbit breeds at around 3 to 4 years. European breeders have four recognized colors ruddy, white, black, and black and tan. Maintenance Belgian hares need much more room than other domestic rabbits for activity and exercise. It's a good idea to give them a large run, either inside or outside, and give them toys and activities that encourage movement. Some people recommend hanging a Belgian hare's water very high, to encourage the rabbit to stretch while drinking. Their short, glossy coats need minimal brushing but rubbing their coats once a month will help keep them healthy. Belgian hares are one of the most energetic and intelligent breeds of rabbits. They are extremely alert and as such can be skittish. The Belgian hares can easily learn their names and will occasionally come when called. As they are active in nature and have an alert temperament, they can be startled by sudden noise or movement very easily. The Belgian hare has been called the poor man's racehorse because of their active personality. Despite their cute appearance, the breed is not ideal for very small children and for beginners. Usually it is an energetic and long-lived animal. Their average lifespan is between 7 to 10 years. But they can live up to 10 years or more. The breed can't do well with extremely high humidity or heat. The does are fair mothers and litters will average 4 to 8 kits. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.